Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most beautiful visitors to the garden, the butterfly. Not only are butterflies really pretty, but they're also extremely important for the environment. For certain plants to make new baby plants, they must get pollen from another plant. Pollen is a powdery substance that plants make. And since plants can't go walking around to get the pollen, they need a little help. That's where butterflies and other pollinators come in. Butterflies eat nectar. Nectar is a liquid made by flowers, and it's really sweet, so butterflies think it's delicious. When a butterfly lands on a flower to drink its nectar, some of the plant's pollen rubs off onto the butterfly. When the butterfly lands on a new flower, some of the old pollen rubs off. This is how butterflies carry pollen between plants, and how they help plants make babies. However, as people have been turning natural green spaces into parking lots and office spaces, butterflies have been losing their homes and habitats. There are a few things you can do, though, to attract butterflies to your garden and give them a nice resting place. The first thing you can do is plant flowers that butterflies like. Even if you don't have room for a whole garden, you can put some flowers in a pot and place the pot outside. Butterflies prefer flowers that are red, yellow, orange, pink, or purple, and if you can, try and plant flowers that are found naturally in your area. Another thing you can do is place flat stones and sunny spots in your garden. These make great resting stops for butterflies, and they love to sit there to warm their wings. Last but not least, you can attract butterflies by setting out some yummy fruit for them to eat. Even though butterflies eat a lot of nectar, they also love to snack on some sweet fruit. Now, let's make a butterfly snack. Start by putting some mushy fruit on a plate. You can use whatever extra fruit you happen to have. Here I have some overripe banana, strawberry, and mango. You want to make sure the fruit doesn't dry out, so if you want, you can add a little bit of water, or if you want to make it extra special, some fruit juice onto the bottom of the plate. Now, your plate is ready for the butterflies. When you set it outside, make sure to set it away from your front door, because it'll attract other bugs too. If you can, tape some string onto the bottom of the plate and hang it up. If not, you can set it on the ground. If you put the plate on the ground, you might want to put it on top of a larger plate that's filled with water to keep ants from getting to the food. Either way, butterflies will love this delicious snack. Now that you know a few ways to make visiting butterflies happy, I hope you have a beautiful day. See you later!